Hi friend, I want to welcome you to the ultimate guide to troubleshooting your Kindle Scribe. This comprehensive video contains all the resets and fixes I've tested specifically for Kindle Scribe. Whether you're dealing with screen problems, unresponsiveness, glitching, your Kindle not turning on or not charging or passcode lock issues, this video is right for you. As I've done dozens of Kindle videos over the years, I'm confident the steps in this video will either fix the software issues of your Kindle or isolate it to the hardware issue. Two notes to make, the steps are sorted from least to most invasive, so I recommend reviewing them one by one. If you're unable to perform a step, let's say a factor reset, but your screen doesn't work, don't worry, just skip this step and go to the next one. Lastly, if this video is helpful, please leave a like, comment on the video and consider subscribing. With that said, let's fix your Kindle Scribe. Let's start with the most basic solution, the soft reset. Press and hold the power button for 30 to 40 seconds, then release it. Even if you see any options displayed, continue to hold the button until the display shows the Kindle logo. Let go of the button then and give it a few minutes to restart. If a soft reset doesn't work, you may need to perform a hard reset, also known as a factory reset. This will return the device to its original factory settings, removing all your personal data and downloaded content. From the home screen, swipe down to open the quick actions menu, select all settings, go to device options and select the last option called factory reset. Alternatively, you can press on three dots and choose reset to factory default. Confirm the reset and allow three to five minutes for the device to reset. You should end up on the static screen. If you're unable to perform a factory reset directly on the device, you can do it via your Mac or Windows computer. If you're using a Mac and have the latest Kindle Scribe 2024, you will need to install Send to Kindle app for Mac OS, which supports USB file transfer. I'll leave a link in the description to the Amazon article with the steps and download app. Once you're ready, create a file on your computer named do underscore factory underscore restore. Make sure the file doesn't have any file extensions, it cannot be a TXT or PDF file. Once created, connect your Kindle to the computer and copy this file to the root directory of your Kindle. Disconnect the scribe and press and hold the power button for 20 to 30 seconds as if you were doing the soft reset. This will trigger factor reset of your device. If you're stuck on the pin screen and can't get past it, enter 111-222-777 into the passcode area. This will erase all the content from your scribe and restore it to factory settings. If nothing we covered so far helped, try performing a soft reset while charging. Plug your Kindle into an outlet, press and hold the power button for 30 to 40 seconds and then release it. The charge indicator light will turn back on and the device will reboot. The screen should power off, followed by the Kindle logo with the tree and progress bar appearing. Give it a minute to reboot. Before we move on, if this video is helpful so far, please support my work by hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate your support. At this stage, we've done most of the resets available. If the screen is still blank or not responding, follow the next few steps. Let's check the battery. Connect the Kindle to a power source a light should come up next to the port. Let it charge for at least 30 minutes to one hour before trying to power it on again. If the light goes off or charging doesn't seem to happen, move to the next step. Clean the charging port using a small dry brush or a can of compressed air to ensure there is no debris blocking the connection. Review port and cable for any physical damage. Check the charging cable and adapter to ensure they are working correctly. Try plugging another working device into the charger to see if it works. Also, plug the charger into a different powered outlet to rule out any outlet issue. Alternatively, try using a different cable and adapter to see if the issue lies with the charging accessories. You can also plug your Kindle into a computer to see if it's detectable. If it is, follow the previous step to factory reset using the do underscore factory underscore restore file. If your screen is working but the Kindle is freezing, unresponsive or glitching, try updating the Kindle's software. Connecting to Wi-Fi and check for software updates by going to settings, device options and then software updates. I've made a separate video on how to force software update on the device, so if your scribe is recognized by your computer, you could try that step as well. I will link the video to this process in the description. If your scribe stylus pen is writing without touching the screen, I'd recommend replacing your stylus pen tip using one of the five replacement tips 
and tip replacement tool included with your Kindle Scribe. If this doesn't help, try the soft and hard reset I mentioned before. If all these steps have been performed and your issue persists, check for any physical damage. Inspect the screen for cracks or liquid damage. If the screen is damaged, it may need professional repair. Also, check for signs of water damage, which can cause internal issues. If water damage is suspected, the Kindle may need professional repair as well. If none of these steps worked, contact the Amazon Kindle support for further assistance. Describe your issue, advise all the steps you've performed so far, and see what they recommend. They may want to send the device in for repair or replacement. Even if you're still out of warranty, I'd still recommend contacting them as they may offer you another solution, provide you with some grace period or offer a discount towards a new device. I truly hope this video has helped you saving your Kindle scribe. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you think I've missed any other steps that people could try. Happy reading and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!